on the agenda is approving the meeting minutes of last year of March 11th, 2020. Um, only those members who were on the committee then can make the motion to approve and vote on the motion. Um, so if someone could approve those meeting minutes. Um, I'll make a motion okay. to approve. Okay, is there a second? I'll second. Okay, um, and since we're remote, it requires a roll call. Um, Gagney? Yes. Boulder? Yes. Fox? Yes. Grant? Yes. And Kenahan, yes. I believe all the other members were not on the committee last year. Um, and now, um, approval of the meeting minutes of two weeks ago. Is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes of um, March 10th, 2021? Uh, so moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, and again, a roll call. Weatherby? Approved. Yes. Adams? Yes. Yes. Fox? Odwell? Yes. Yes. Grant? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Boulder? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Gagney? Yes. And Kinahan? Yes. Okay. Um, and now moving into items for this year. Um, first, um, so David, could you briefly just go over the million dollars in that we have in free cash and then um, what we're spending it on and how much is left? Yep, so right now we have certified by the state uh, just a tad over $1 million, it's $1,014,000 in, um, I'm sorry, $1,014,213 uh, in water surplus. We have $471,685. Uh, we normally set aside on water, I mean, on free cash, we normally set aside $350,000 to pay down the school debt on the uh, middle school, senior high school loan. And the selectmen set aside $100,000 to continue funding sidewalks. So, um, so that leaves us the difference. Okay, so there's about 500, the difference is about 560,000. Um, I'm sorry, I, let me just. I believe that. that. Yeah, it is. It's 564. Um, so the amount that we can spend up to is 564,000. We may consider borrowing for potentially the ambulance. Um, one thing to note, which I wish that I asked this question or brought this up um, two weeks ago when we had the deputy fire chief here, was um, on those sheets we asked for out years, we asked for future years. Um, one of the large items that's coming and it's it, in there for next year is a fire engine um, for $750,000. I wish that I'd asked the deputy chief to speak on that more. Uh, I know I've talked to him and I believe David has as well in the past about this. Um, I believe it is something that will need to be replaced next year. So that's something to consider. Um, next year, we're going to have a very large item down the line. Um, so it, it's possible that we may want to leave some free cash towards um, that fire end. Um, so what we typically do is just run through this list. Um, and everyone makes their comments on what they thought if they um, support um, recommending the purchase um, of the item or project um, in it, any questions or just anything that anyone wants to touch on. Um, so we'll just run right down the list that's in front of us that Linda has pulled up. Um, so the first item is the tractor um, requested by the DPW for uh, just under 19,000. Uh, does anyone have any comment? On this item, Anthony, if I can, I just interrupt for one second. Yes, I just want um, I'd like to like remove. We we're going to remove the boiler repair uh, from the school request. Just want to put that out there at the beginning, so people understand that moving forward, we feel we're going to go through the municipal building needs committee for that and look at other sources. So, just before you go into all the items, I just want to make that clear. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, um, so the, the first item, the tractor, does anyone have any comments on that or is there anyone who's adamantly in support or uh, against? 
or any comments at all. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't this what they asked for last year? Correct. Okay, so I don't imagine that it has actually improved its condition since then. Okay. Correct. All right. Um, next item is a um, F-250. This is the truck that the um, DPW foreman uses um, currently. He's driving a 2010 F-150 without a plow. Um, any comment? On this item. So on this one, I think you said that the frame's gone. So that seems like a safety issue to me. I I actually went over and looked at the truck, and there are holes in the frame. So that uh, that's definitely a safety issue, in my opinion. I guess my only question on that one would be: if he didn't have a plow so far, is it necessary to have a plow now? What's that, you know, because just thinking we're trying to keep an eye on capital expense, especially in this year, then know what the other thoughts of the members might be on that. Yeah. David, are you familiar enough with their operations to speak to that? I am. I just, um, so a couple of things. One is, is that it's not a primary plow truck. Um, however, like Sean Anderson's F-250 also has a plow on it. So whenever we have smaller storms, the smaller trucks give us more flexibility to be able to get in and out of some of the smaller roads. Uh, we can't, our larger vehicles cannot go down every single road, um, including the small ones. Okay. So, um, so it just gives us a little bit more additional flexibility. The other thing is, is that we do have a couple, not that we're looking to replace them, but we have a couple of older plow trucks from um, um, that are 20, 25 plus years old. And so um, if we can, if that goes down, because sometimes that trucks do go down in the middle of a storm, this gives us another truck that we can jump into if we need to. It's won't, it won't be primary. I can tell you a six inch plus storm, this truck will not be out there, it's too small. But if it's a couple of inches, uh, they'll get more utility out of this than doing something that gets one or two miles to the gallon. Okay, thanks, one Dave. Thing, this is Kitty Grant. I have a comment on the plow aspect of it. Um, wouldn't, by having another plow in town for short money, help us reduce the number of outside contractors we may use? And do we use outside contractors? So we do use private um, contractors when necessary. Unfortunately, it won't reduce it because we only still only have so many men. So every single man already has a truck. So during a larger storm, this plow truck would not be used. Um, during a smaller truck plow storm, it will be used. But the benefit is, is that instead of me putting a six wheeler out that honestly gets four miles to the gallon, I could put this truck out when there's only two or three inches um, and get more utility out of this truck. Um, the last thing is, is that um, there's, it's very difficult to plow around the fleet building with our larger trucks, just because there's so much backing up, there's not a lot of space. Um, so we used the smaller trucks over there. Right now we only have one smaller truck. So this would help that if somebody had to stay back here, work on that area while people are out in town. That's why they, they definitely need the truck. So for, a couple, for four or 5,000, $6,000, it just makes sense to put the plow on it and give more utility. Um, okay. Reference to the, to the contractors, we do use them but we attempt not to, usually, again, we only bring them in if we get into larger storms. So I'm wondering if there's an opportunity, since we have a request for a plow on this truck and a request for the plow on the tr truck the school wants, maybe we get the plow for one of these trucks only, if, if that's an opportunity to save a few thousand dollars. In talking to, I know we're later on, but I think I want to advocate for the plow for our truck as well. And talking to Julie, there's, there's a need for it, um, especially when they come in early in the morning. Sometimes they're not able to access into the school sites because they haven't been plowed yet. And also doing smaller jobs around. I think if you're going to have a truck for 10 to 15 years, $6,000 is a pretty good investment to take care of some of the smaller jobs as well. Yeah. 
any more comments on um, this item? Nope. Okay, um, next to the water department item. So the, the water department would be using water surplus rather than uh, free cash on the town side. Yeah, um, I'm sorry to interrupt. We did skip the um, the cold storage building. Oh, sorry. Yes, um, the cold storage building. Um, maybe that was subconsciously. I just went right over. <laughs> um, so this is we approved this or town meeting approved this last year for just over a hundred thousand um, dollars, and since then the prices have just skyrocketed. Um, my position is we hold off on this. It's not ideal. Um, that building's very tight back there for the DPW, but almost a half million dollars for this building. I just, I don't see the value in it at this time. Um, comments from others? Do we have a safety issue? Uh, we have to worry about demolishing it or demolishing that, it? It will, it has to come down. The storage yeah. shed out there now has to come down and that will be coming down. Okay, all right. Uh, I didn't know if one was contingent on the other. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and to, and to Anthony's point, building materials have just skyrocketed since COVID. I mean, just a sheet, a four by eight sheetrock right now is 50 bucks and wasn't that long ago, it was 15. So um, to Anthony's point, we're hoping that we can re go out to bid a year from now and get better pricing. Okay. Um, all right, now moving to the water department. Um, so the first item is a utility body for a 2016 F-250. Um, any comments on this item? Nope, okay. Um, the next item is water meters, um, $100,000 for water meters. Um, these will be paid for, so they'll be bought prior um, prior to, and then once new construction is built, um, the developers will reimburse um, the water department. Any comments on this? No. Um, engineering, there's two engineering items, both are $50,000. Um, any comments on those? To be honest, I kind of forget what the exact difference is between the two items. Um, at the time, both seemed reasonable and necessary. Um, yeah, and they have the money in their surplus for these, for all of this stuff, right? They do. Yes. This is probably going to lead to an expensive purchase and the, after the engineering is done, though. So we definitely need to keep in mind the water situation. Uh, Wayne seemed pretty wary about crossing that PFAS line. So I think it's probably good to get this out of the way as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Um, those are the water items. The next item um, is from the police department. The police department is re requesting two police cruisers this year. Um, one replacing a six-year-old vehicle, one replacing a five-year-old vehicle. Um, so I can tell you, I spoke to the chief and, um, and we will do one vehicle this year. So, um, so before the capital budget will just be one and not two. So just gonna, cut it, literally cut it in half. It's, it's the same vehicle. Yeah. I was going to ask if there was any opportunity to squeak one more year out of one of them. Yeah. I believe he has somewhere nine, 10, 11 vehicles, something like that. So it makes sense that every year, at least one be replaced. Um, in some and in some years too. Um, the next item is the ambulance from the fire department. Um, they're replacing a ten-year-old ambulance that I know has had multiple issues over the past few years. Um, it was rebuilt at one point, or a new box was put on it, or box was put on the frame. I forget the exact situation, but there have been issue, issues since then. Um, in I think it is time that that ambulance be replaced. Yeah, yeah, it sounded like there was some safety concerns with this as well. Agreed. Well, when I went over, oh sorry, when I went over to the fire department, they explained that they have um, repeatedly there was a it's a suspension issue. There's a air cushion thing that it 
never married properly to the base that they tried to marry them together. And it, they spent, I think, what was it, $16,000 or something just in the past year trying to, to fix it. So um, unless we want people bouncing around in the back of an ambulance, it probably <laughs> should be replaced. Okay, um, the next two items are both um, related. So they're from the building department to remove the wall ACs in town hall and replace them with um, mini. Um, any comments on that? This had been approved last year too, right? And it had gotten scrapped. Correct, yeah, this is one that we um, had recommended last year, but then, um, Due to COVID, we scrapped, I think, all the capital items. So, David, if I recall, you said that some of these air conditioners don't even work at all, correct? Correct. So, some of them don't work, unfortunately. And again, I, you know, it's it, you're always trying to save money. But probably a 10 or 12 years ago, it predates me. I've been here for eight years. Um, people, we just bought residential wall units, put in a wall, put in a hole in the wall and, and stuck them through. So some of them don't work, you know, residential, they get overtaxed and, they're, and the ones that do work are extremely loud. Um, you may recall for members that were on FinCon in years past, we would be in the selectman's meeting room and we couldn't talk to each other because the old residential wall unit was too loud. So we replaced it. Um, so now we're looking to do it throughout the entire building. So some of them don't work and the ones that do are extremely loud and noisy and quite frankly it's hard to even pick up the phone and have a conversation. Okay. I think it makes good sense because they, I have mini splits in my house and you can use them in the spring and in the fall to get a little bit of heat if it gets cold in the building and they are very efficient you know electricity wise so. Yeah you'll, I noticed a big drop in my electricity when I took the window ones out. Put yeah, exactly. In. Yeah, like there will be some savings there. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next item is replacing a 2007 F-150 with a um, F-250 um, utility body with plow for the school department. Any comment on that one? I do feel, I think this you know, predates me, but I think it's been on at least two years. This could be the third year. And looking at the vehicle, it definitely some, a lot of safety concerns uh, from the, the rot standpoint and so forth. And this was one that was going to be replaced last year until the uncertainty of COVID. Um, the board had recommended replacing that vehicle. Yeah. Okay. The only question was if, if there's an opportunity to maybe get a 150 or not the plow, but it sounds like you, you need the plow. In, in talking to a head of maintenance, she does feel it's important to have that. Um, it creates, again, more flexibility and uh, allows them to do you know, a better job around the schools and fill in with the highway camp. Um, so that's all the items. It sounds, based on the comments, that there's a pretty good consensus. Um, Linda, could you do me a favor and could you select no um, so that this spreadsheet updates next to the DPW uh, storage building? Um, are you able to do that? Is it working? Uh, Linda, you might need to open it up with uh, Excel. Yeah, for some reason it's not, I have it on my, I can see it on my end, but for some reason you can't see it. You can't see it on the screen where it says no. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Um, 
You so you're still showing yes on yours? Yeah. Yeah, I still it, it didn't I didn't see any changes. Hmm. Um, um so I downloaded it and I changed it so I can see it on my end. I don't know why. Let me try it again. So what is what does the total come to Linda when you do that if you can see it? Um, I have it in front of me as well. I did it on my sheet. Um, Seven hundred and ninety-four thousand three hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Um, of that, two hundred and twenty thousand would be from water surplus. Then the remaining there's a remaining five hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars, roughly. Um, <laughs> Anthony, weren't we going to remove one of the police vehicles as well? Yep. Yes. Yeah. The cold storage building, the one police vehicle, and then the um, the heat exchanger uh, for the school won't be on here either. Um, so those three items will be removed. Okay. Um, Were we talking about now borrowing for the ambulance? So we, I think it could make, make sense to we, borrow. We almost uh, make it, right? Sorry, what was that? But we almost make it for if we have five sixty four and free. We do. Yep, we can make that. We can reduce the board of selectmen can vote to reduce the hundred thousand for the sidewalks to a to well, I think it would come up to like eighty nine thousand. Yeah. Uh, so it wouldn't be an issue, but with the fire truck coming down the road next year, um, I think it could make sense to borrow now, leave that free cash for next year. Interest rates, I think, are we're probably at the bottom right now. I can't see them going lower. I can only see them going up. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was my point. We should borrow when it's cheapest. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, the one year loans right now are still coming in under 1% interest. And that would be for the life of the loan, right? No, not not no. if we did year to year. If we went out and bonded for it, um, which we wouldn't just do for three hundred and forty five thousand, then that would be a set interest price. Um, the if we go year to year, every November, um, it's a, called the municipal purpose loan, and that's what all of our short term projects are on. So right now, that's under one percent as well. But so that's our, that's the band uh, money. That's the band money, yeah. yeah okay. So are we saying borrow for the ambulance and then take the rest out of free cash or are we gonna borrow for all of this stuff? I'd say definitely most of the items would want to pay cash for it. Scott, what's what are your thoughts? Knowing that there's most likely going to be a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar purchase next year. Yeah, I, I think borrowing just for the ambulance makes sense. Um, we have flexibility on how fast we can pay that down too, if it's short term. Um, because it's not set in stone. So if we do have extra money, we can pay down that and then we'll, we'll most likely have to borrow next year also. And then there's probably going to be a big water project in the future too. So yeah. if we end up having to lump those together, then it might make sense to go to the bond market. And if the interest rates are still low, then we can take advantage of it that way. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Are there any other thoughts on recommendations of free cash versus bonding? No. Okay, so it, um, I guess we can take a, a vote for it. That's kind of a pain, especially with a roll call. So, <laughs> well, Andy, um, I, if, I think we, I know where you're going. If, why don't I try this and then you can tell me if I'm wrong? Is it, I'll make a motion to recommend the following items using free cash, the mower for DPW, the F-250 for DPW, one police cruiser for the police department, uh, the AC systems for the school building and for the, for the town hall, the F-250 for the school department, that totals 229,368. And so I will make a motion to recommend to the selectmen that we take those out of free cash. Okay, thank you. Is there a second? Second. Okay, and favor uh, Weatherby. 
Yes. Adams? Aye. Fox? Yes. Odwell? Yes. 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 Grant? Yes. Grant? Yes. Yes. Holder? Yes. Gagney? Yes. And Kinahan, yes. And then I will make again I will make a motion that we recommend to the Board of Selectmen to purchase the ambulance in the amount of three hundred forty five thousand through borrowing. Fair second. I'll second it. Okay. Um those in favor, Weatherby? Yes. Adams? Yes. Fox? Yes. Bodwell? Yes. Yes. Grant? Yes. Yeah. Colder? Yes. Clinton? Yes. Gagney? Yes. And Ken Hanya. One last motion for the water department. So I'll make a motion that we recommend to the Board of Selectmen that the four items at the water department is requesting the F-250 water meters and the two engineering motions be paid through water surplus. Is there a seconding? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, Weatherby? Yes. Adams? Yes. Fox? Yes. Bodwell? Yes. Yes. Grant? Yeah. Yeah. Golder? Yes. Grant? Yes. Gagney? Yes. And Kinahan, yes. Okay. Um, I just had so a that's quick everything. question. Last yes. week, Wayne, or two weeks ago, Wayne mentioned he was going to pay down some stuff too. Can that just go <clears> on the town meeting warrant? Is that fine? Yeah, so he'll he'll submit those, or he's already done that, as two warrant articles. Okay. He informed capital budget there were fifty thousand dollars each, I believe. Right? Actually, no, maybe different numbers, but it was to pay down debt. Um, so by all means, you know, it doesn't require action from this board, but it'll go before the selectmen to be placed on the warrant, and they'll have to make a decision if they want to or not. Okay. All right. Um, so that's everything um thank you all for participating and if someone could just make a motion to adjourn I'll make so a motion to adjourn okay, and a second second great uh those in favor whether be yes adams yes fox yes bodwell yes yes grant yeah yeah golder yes lynn yes Gagney? Yes. And Kinahan, yes. All right. That's everyone. Thank you all. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.